okay hello all and uh, today we are going to start the pt 365 of uh, environment section okay and uh, we will be following this uh, vision is pt 365 for our current affairs okay and uh, for the um, and i i hope uh, one two and a half months are left for the pt uh, of 2024 so i i am hoping that you must or you all must have uh, revised your static portion but even if you have not revised then we will take uh, separately the static portion also later on the later part but uh, uh, since most of the most of you have revised the static portions uh, so today we are going to start with the uh, this current affairs section okay and uh, okay now in this lecture we will do uh, this much part of uh, 365 okay and uh, this part deals with the climate change okay uh, before initiating this um, this lecture uh, i want to tell this uh, this pt365 contains 150 pages okay nearly 150 so we will divide our uh, sessions in 20 to 30 pages per session and uh, and and then move, move in the direction of direction of completion of this uh, series okay and uh, the other thing that i want to tell you is uh, that uh, this pt365 is very bulky okay so it contains very large amount of the facts okay some of the facts are some of the facts are very irrelevant okay but still but still they cover in 365 okay so what i will do i will filter out the content for you so that uh, so that uh, during the revision it will be very easy for you to revise this content and and go with the go in the pt with very uh, high level of the confidence so what you you people have to do is whatever i am telling you uh, you have to revise this, it at least two times um, after we, after watching this video and uh, then you will be good to go for the pt okay uh, and uh, today the site today the pages uh, can be less uh, it, it is approximately 16 pages but uh, slowly we will increase the pages number of pages per session and uh, and then then follow follow the schedule okay okay the first uh, first topic uh, that we are taking is the climate change under the climate change the the first topic very first topic comes the ozone hole i don't know why they keep kept the ozone hole in the climate change because climate change topic is entirely different than the ozone layer concept okay still the these people have put the ozone hole then we will uh, cover our ozone hole area. okay why this uh, ozone lower uh, ozone hole is in the news uh, according to a recent study the ozone layer has grown larger and thinner okay. so before understanding this topic we should know what ozone hole is and before that even even before that uh, what the ozone is okay ozone is a uh, molecule com uh, molecule with, uh, which is made up of three atoms of the oxygen and uh, all of you must have uh, uh, you must have read uh, in that the uh, read in your basics that uh, oxygen oxygen is made up of two uh, two at two atoms of ox oxygen atoms okay so when we combine one more oxygen atom with this then oxygen molecule becomes so this is the ozone ozone but uh, uh, this ozone uh, this ozone is present uh, present in our uh, atmosphere so before moving that before moving to that section you must have uh, uh, you must all have uh, read in your static portion that this atmosphere of our earth is made up of two layers uh, sorry four layers that is first is troposphere then second is stratosphere then is mesosphere and another is exosphere or thermosphere uh, many people are uh, also add exosphere after the thermosphere okay so uh, in this uh, atom in this tr troposphere all the uh, all the environment actions take place and most of the air is residing in this zone only so the and then second zone comes the stratosphere uh, life form does not exist in this in this layer and uh, and it is in this layer in this layer that our ozone layer is present here okay so this is the layer here ozone layer okay so uh, 
Okay. Uh, one one more thing that I want to cover here is that this ozone, this ozone may be present, ozone molecule may be present in uh, stratosphere as well as stratosphere. Okay. When is it is this present in the troposphere? It is called bad, bad ozone. Okay. And when it is present in the stratosphere, it is called good good ozone okay so why do we call this bad and good uh, we will we will talk it later and uh, first let me uh, let me make some other concepts clear to you okay so what this actually uh, this ozone layer do the you as you all know the sun is the primary source of energy to all the all the uh, life forms on the earth okay so sun emits man, many type of the uh, radiations so one uh, one of the uh, some of the radians are called ultraviolet radiations they uh, these um, ultraviolet radiations according to the radiation frequency are divided into uh, many parts like a b c okay so ultraviolet a rays a uh, a and uh, B are very, uh, very energetic. So, if they come to the earth, then they can cause many problems to the human beings, uh, like especially the skin diseases and skin cancers also. So, what this ozone layer does, it filters out this uh, A and B segments of the ozone layer and uh, uh, only allows some portion of the B and C to filter, uh, to get through the, uh, get through this ozone and uh, reach out, reach to the uh, reach to the earth okay so this is the primary function of ozone layer okay that is why um, because this layer protects us from harmful layers of the earth or sun so that's why it is called as good ozone in the stratosphere okay and uh, why do we call uh, why do we call bad bad ozone in the troposphere because um, ozone molecule when enters uh, when enters the human respiratory system uh, humans respiratory system it da it damages the respiratory issues and uh, creates some uh, breathing difficulties and also irritation in the eyes so uh, so this molecule when present on, uh, on the troposphere it creates problems to the life forms hence it is called bad when it is present in troposphere okay i hope the, uh, this this thing is clear to you okay now we will we will move to the other concept that is there is discussed in this uh, in this topic that why what is what is the ozone layer depletion so if this layer this layer has some thickness okay if this layer uh, layer starts depleting so what will happen the ultraviolet rays that are being filtered by this uh, layer will get through this get through the uh, get through the stratosphere and reach reach to the earth so this will be a problem for us so in order to in order to have uh, in order to uh, not have this problem created so uh, this ozone layer uh, ozone layer should be about of a particular thickness okay we will discuss it out and uh, so what what is happening uh, due to this uh, global warming and uh, some other gases that the human activity is using this ozone layers uh, ozone uh, ozone layers thickness is decreasing so this thickness this reduction in the thickness is called ozone layer ozone hole ozone hole in the uh, in the stratosphere okay so why this why next question comes why why is this uh, ozone uh, ozone depletion or ozone hole being created okay so uh, some of the compounds that are being used by the human we will discuss it and discuss it. okay let us discuss it uh, in this section only so some of the uh, human made gases human made gases uh, which are major ods that is called o ozone depleting substances okay like chlorine bromine cfcs carbon tetrachloride and halons they are being used by the human okay what this do what these uh, gases do uh, these are uh, uh, the ultraviolet rays of the sun spread these CFCs and create the free, free uh, chlorine or bromine atoms. Okay, these chlorine bromine atoms break the oxygen molecule, and then what this uh, like like this uh, is given in this info, uh, infographic, like fluorine or uh, when carbon tetrachloride and uh, fluorine it moves to the ozone, then what it do? Uh, instead of uh, 
creating the this th three three oxygen molecules it it breaks down into two uh, like this and this and uh, ozone gets converted into oxygen two molecules of oxygen so this uh, this destruction of the ozone uh, molecule decreases the uh, thickness of this ozone layer and hence ozone hole gets created okay okay so we have understood the concept of the ozone layer ozone layer, ozone um, ozone hole also and um, now now we move to the news that was very important and that was given that this ozone hole is getting larger and thinner okay so uh, what is the problem so so what is ozone hole that i have already accept, explained to you and what has remained is drop below 220 dobson units okay the thickness of the ozone layer the ozone layer's thickness is measured in dobson you have to remember it okay and the 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 the, uh, the thickness this average thickness of the ozone layer should be 300 dobson but even if it decreases and falls uh, up to 220 dobson dobson then it is not a problem but when it comes down below this 220 then uh, then we call it ozone hole okay technically okay now ozone depletion that i have already uh, discussed with you you have to remember these uh, compounds and then state of the ozone or ozone layer uh, was on track okay we have to discuss this development this development came nearly uh, one uh, one year back that unep said that the ozone layer is on the track to recover it is recovering why it is recovering? we will discuss it uh, later but it was on the track but now this is the recent news that it is growing larger and thinner that that means we are going back back from the back of what should be done in this uh, in this regard we are backtracking on the on the our achievements okay now moving to uh, moving to the regions of potential drivers of ozone why why ozone layer is getting ozone hole is getting formed okay in the first place the changes in the arctic uh, antarctic polar vortex okay polar vortexes are uh, the whirling whirling uh, this uh, air airs uh, moving on moving on the polar region okay if this is earth and this is polar then whirling uh, type of uh, uh, whirling type of uh, air movement is called polar vortex okay uh, this vortex usually forms on the polar regions here also here also means on the arctic as well as antarctic so this polar vortex what this creates it creates the polar stratospheric clouds okay these clouds are also called as nacreous clouds and mother of pearl there uh, there are many names of it you have to remember all because uh, some sometimes upc may ask in the uh, with other name also you, you must remember it okay and when this uh, when these clouds are formed below below 78 degrees celsius the trap on uh, this what these clouds do these clouds trap the ongoing long wave radiations they trap the radiation as well as when uh, radiation is coming from the sun and like it is sun okay and uh, you know like uh, this uh, ozone depleting substances ods are also present here okay so when these two may meets then the deadly combination that we have discussed uh, dis uh, discussed above, above uh, this forms okay then the depletion of the uh, depletion of the ozone starts okay okay now what are the other th other things that are drivers of ozone uh, ozone hole uh, surface that will be being from the chlorine okay, chlorine into reactive ozone destroying forms okay ozone destroying forms that i that we have discussed the this provide this uh, polar stratospheric clouds uh, gives the surface for for, um, for chlorine to form chlorine atoms to form okay removing nitrogen compounds you have to remember one thing also chlorine is destruction of the uh, chlorine forms chlorine uh, chlorine or bromine goes for the destruction of ozone uh, ozone but nitrogen compounds nitrogen compounds okay nitrogen compounds they are good for ozone they form the ozone layer okay so these uh, these uh, these uh, sorry 
what these uh, these do these ozone depleting substances or polar stratospheric clouds these clouds uh, remove the nitrogen compounds and hence the oxy ozone gets depleted okay then in case atom atomic uh, atmosphere abundance of chlorofluorocarbons chlorofluorocarbons is one of the odious that we have uh, we have read uh, previously okay so cfcs so the presence of uh, cfcs in our atmosphere has uh, was mainly responsible for reduction of the ozone ozone layer okay so we have discussed this concept okay now moving to another news which is related like impact of volcanic eruptions on the ozone layer you have to remember the name of the volcanoes because sometimes in the in the recent section recent news um, upsc ask this type of questions like which volcano was has recently recently erupted which volcano was present in the which uh, which country okay you have to remember this hunga tunga hunga ap happy volcano of where is this this is some marine world where it is inside the oceans or tunga tonga archipelago okay and the other that you have to remember is mount pinatubo it is was in philippines so what what happened that these uh, sorry just a minute okay moving back so what happened when this volcano erupts then it uh, releases many uh, gases and vapors and uh, like uh, particles into the atmosphere so these uh, these particles may reach up to the uh, up to the stratosphere layer also okay now what are the impacts of these volcanic eruptions on the ozone that triggers many stratospheric water vapors blue okay water vapor water vapor you know uh, uh, traps the uh, traps the sunlight h2o water it traps the sunlight we will study it in the uh, in the climate change section okay now other is uh, inject the large quantities of sulfur sulfur dioxide sulfur dioxide which is responsible for conversion of chlorine okay contribute to the atmospheric bromide we have to, we have seen a uh, chlorine bromine all all are uh, are uh, are the responsible for formation of uh, these free free radicals of chlorine and um, chlorine and chlorine and bromine okay now moving next eruption particles provide surfaces for the chemical reactions this these particles that i discussed particles are also they have they provide surfaces like polar stratospheric clouds no? they provide surfaces where the chlorine atom gets formed and then this chlorine uh, chlorine atom goes to the ozone to form to let it form oxygen compound okay this was all about the recent activity now moving to the montreal protocol why uh, the in the uh, before in the part before i have discussed that uh, some due to some uh, some of our actions human actions some uh, some we have steps we have taken to reduce the reduce the uh, depletion of the ozone uh, ozone ozone uh, layer and uh, what were the steps that we took we took like montreal protocol but uh, okay what you, what you have to remember uh, in this uh, protocol this protocol is okay let me let us discuss the first the what this protocol is all about okay this montreal protocol came into existence in 1987 what uh, this is the just a protocol protocol is like set of rules what we have what we have to do and what we have to not do okay but there must be some convention or some bigger body which is uh, under which this protocol with this rule has been taken up okay so it came under the vienna convention convention is the convention is the bounded bounding binding acts on all the parties who who are signatory to it okay adopted in 1985 okay 1985 we adopted the vienna convention and then under this vienna convention montreal protocol like set of rules were adopted okay what uh, what this protocol is all about we will this deal it but first we will we also must remember this like it is the first university ratified treaty of un 
it is the first year right why that is had been had been ratified by all the members of the un okay this is only uh, this is the first universal ratified treaty okay you must remember it now now what uh, this uh, what this montreal protocol is all about montreal protocols uh, uh, says that the ods ozone depleting substances that are being produced by the human activity should be reduced or and later phased out phased out okay so particular deadlines have been given by given it uh, given by the protocol and uh, after which the production and uh, Uh, production and distribution of this ods will be completely phased out okay this is the montreal protocol all about okay now world ozone day is celebrated on 16 september sometimes many uh, many uh, state pcs ask this type of question like 16 september is celebrated for what what day okay you may remember it but upsc will not upsc will not ask i think okay the okay uh, now after the after the montreal Pro- protocol uh, montreal protocol was all about we know ozone depleting substances okay now after some time what happened what happened we, uh, instead of ozone depleting substances we started using hydro hydro uh, hydrofluorocarbons hfcs what are these uh, okay now first to use you must remember that uh, what are these used for why are we making ozone depleting substances these are these are the substances we are using in our refrigerators okay okay refrigerators acs okay so these are the uh, these are the compounds which are mainly responsible for cooling cooling purposes okay and the formation of foams is also uh, also one of the um useful act of this ozone depleting substance okay now what we decided in the montreal protocol that we will phase this out phase this out but we can't phase out acs and uh, refrigerators so what what a scientist committee has uh, has uh, invented discovered that hydrofluorocarbons are equally uh, equally useful for our acs and refrigerators okay then these hfcs were uh, started to be used but what happened later it was found that these hfcs are not ods not ods but have global warming global warming potential okay so what what they what uh, they found, later found out later found out that these hfcs are responsible for global warming okay so uh, now the next problem arises Uh, that uh, you have to face this out also because we don't want any substance which uh, which will uh, which will, which will uh, promote the global warming so, so then kigali agreement was uh, adopted in 2016 okay to phase down to phase down the production and consumption of hydrofluor hfcs also okay hfc are uh, yeah, this i have al- already t- uh, told about told you about it. okay now India and Montreal Protocol. India became party to the Vienna Convention in 1991. Though though it was it it started in in uh, 1985, but we became party in 1991 and the Montreal Protocol we win uh, became party in 1992. Okay, implementing agency is Ministry of Environment, Forest and Climate Change ratified Kigali. We also ratified the Kigali Agreement in 2021. Okay, uh, it is a four step process. and will start in 2023 2030 sorry and uh, 10% reduction in india 10% reduction will be started by uh, 2032 okay uh, rest this will not be asked okay because they are very relevant and more. but this this thing can be asked by 2047 by the by the by the time we will celebrate 100 years of our independence 85% of the of the hfc should be phased down okay i hope you get the concept of the, this uh, ozone layer and all the uh, things related to it okay now we will move to the next topic like state of the cryosphere cryosphere uh, state of the cryosphere. why this why this news because the ozone this uh, climate change is happening and uh, related concept is the global warming 
so when this warming is happening of the earth so the temperatures are increasing temperatures are increasing they are what they are doing they are uh, they are melting our glaciers okay and uh, this cryosphere also so that's why that's why this news has come about okay the state of crisis where two degrees is too high report that is uh, this report has been released by the international cryosphere climate initiative icci so this new this uh, uh, this report becomes important because in the wake of the global warming that we are experiencing these days okay now we we should in, uh, study about this icci what is this so you must remember it is a, a network of experts and researchers just it is a it does not contain any uh, government upsc may ask this government or state are not present okay so only experts and researchers are uh, are the constituents of this icci okay rest are very very general provisions like uh, to uh programs and they are programs to target the focus on the global implications of cryosphere warming or these are generally that you can do it okay now cryosphere what is cryosphere cryosphere move uh, is all the all the spheres where the snow ice or anything is contained which has sub zero sub zero sub zero degree temperatures okay like ice on the land like it it may be on the mountains also okay ice sheets okay ice bergs ice sea ice sea floating or ice floating on the sea okay permafrost permafrost is a, a ice which is permanently permanently remains ice okay sub zero temperatures okay ice caps glaciers all these are all these things are uh, are the part of the cryosphere okay okay now we will deal with uh, the highlights of the report okay nearly all the topic uh, but uh, nearly all the tropical uh, glaciers tropical we are say, saying tropical glaciers most mid latitude mid latitude glaciers and polar regions will be dis will disappear when the temperature rises by 2 degree celsius most of nearly all nearly all of the tropical and most of the polar okay they will be they will disappear okay himalayas what we uh, himalayas you also know that himalaya are also a part of the cryosphere okay himalayas as expected to lose 50% of today's size okay so this report what is uh, what is uh, it compares uh, it uh, it compares the scenario what will happen when the uh, the temperature rises by 2 degree celsius okay so when this 2 degree rise will happen it compares the scenarios so it comp it has compared the scenario like uh, glacier uh, glaciers will melt okay and then himalayas also 50% reduction will be there the last decade we near the seven worst year the the last decade that we have we usually has passed like 2013 to 23 this was seven worst years of ice loss it has seen it is just on uh, just a fact so that you you must remember the uh, magnitude of the climate change or global warming that's happening right now okay about cryo cryosphere i have already told you frozen part of the okay cryosphere's role in the global global climate what is the role of cryosphere in the global global climate the cryosphere as you know it is sub zero temperature sub zero degree celsius temperature so it regulates the earth's temperature because of its high albedo okay uh, this is an important concept like this is the ice sheet okay so when the sun rays falls on this ice sheet so it does not immediately immediately it starts warming it warming it up okay what this ice do because of its uh, this high albedo albedo is the uh, is the term used for the amount of the light that is reflected back okay so the higher the albedo the higher the light will be reflected so this ice this ice acts like a mirror so when the uh, when the rays falls on this it gets reflected back to the atmosphere okay so due to this high albedo it maintains the temperature of earth okay store carbon carbon uh, below this uh, ice 
many carbon uh, many carbon uh, molecules and plants or uh, plant residues or uh, or maybe uh, maybe some some uh, organic matter maybe organic matter must be present so it stores the carbon inside it okay water availability 80% of the water boils uh, fresh water is present in this cryosphere so this cryosphere becomes very important so another fact that has been given is ice melt in the cryosphere causes extreme weather events and sea level rise that that will happen like when the when the cryosphere will start melting the sea level will start rising okay that was all about cryosphere and this report you must remember it now ice melt in west antarctica okay in this uh, in this section what i want you to remember is this map okay this is antarctica this is the south pole this wetland sea amundsment sea and ross sea you must remember where are these okay you may remember it like north to south also and uh, one more important glacier is twats glacier these things are repeatedly repeatedly in the news so becomes important fact for the prelims to be asked in the exams okay now what this article says article is enter enter uh, accelerated ice melt was noticed in the west antarctica when uh, ice melt will be there because you know now glo global warming is happening at a fast rate so ice melt will be will also be on the fast rate okay when antarctic ice sheet if completely lost would contribute to sea level rise or up to 5 meters okay if this antarctic ice is completely lost then 5 meters will be the sea level rise okay. ocean level melting of the ocean floating ice cells in the amundsen sea is the main process okay okay uh, to understand this let us let us go back to the our previous topic that we read okay this is a ice cell okay and uh, consider like it is antarctica okay now if uh, if this water if the global warming increases then this water this uh, ocean water temperature will increase so what will happen this ocean water will keep on circulating so this this uh, hot water will come below this ice sheet and then it will start melting this ice sheet okay and then this ice sheet will keep on keep on decreasing keep on decreasing and one and the one one stem will come and this will break off from this main body and this ice sheet will get separated so that that's what is being uh, talked about in this ocean driven melting in this point okay and that's what is happening in this in this antarctica this this region this twats glacier is also melting very fast okay okay sequence of ice melting i don't think this this is very uh, relevant for the prelims so just leave it okay okay some of the global efforts you may remember but not very specific just to to be had to have in the back of back of mind for pt they they may not ask it okay okay some global effort like antarctica treaty but you may remember it antarctica tt is uh, not very related to environment but it is for demilitarization of antarctica and also scientific cooperation okay india is a member so okay now another thing another uh, important convention on or for the conservation of antarctic seals it is only about seals we are we are not dealing about the marine marine ecosystem of, near the uh, antarctica okay it's only one and one annual or one marine animal like seals this this convention deals with okay now other another thing convention on conservation of antarctic marine living resources this this treaty this convention deals with marine living resources that was uh, came into existence in 1982 and ratified by india okay so one is antarctica treaty must shields and another is marine living resources okay the other is the protocol protocol is the i i already told you the protocols are the set of rules convention is the meeting of the people meeting of the sorry nations to agree to a common framework okay protocol is the, the protocol on environmental protection on the antarctica treaty madrid protocol it is also called 1999 it was signed by india so these these are some of the things that 
global uh, efforts have been taken for um, for safeguarding in antarctica okay as far as india is related india has recently india has uh, antarctic programs uh, that were began in 1981 and three research bases are there in the antarctica these are dakshin gangotri maitri and bharti you must remember all the names dakshin gangotri has was old and it has uh, Uh, it is it does not it does not exist now but maitri and bharti they are in operation mode okay the other thing that uh, we uh, india deals with the antarctica is antarctic act was passed in recently in 2022 okay what this uh, act uh, act does and the act uh, give effect to this all the treaties and conventions that we have read recently this okay and what are the key provisions for this act it forms a committee on the antarctic governance okay permit system this committee will give the permit to the people people scientist or other people that were, that will be going to the antarctica for research purposes so permit system will be there okay antarctic fund is uh, created so that whatever the damages uh, take place in the antarctica the, the this uh, this fund can can uh, make the chain, make the uh, damages to reduce okay Dangerous codes have been uh, formed uh, so that anything, anything suspicious happens in the Antarctic region, then the uh, the the codes may be, the the codes may may be there, so that the the, the this thing can be stopped. Okay. Now, moving uh, moving ahead. Antarctic amplification amplification. Okay. Uh, so. Right. under this climate change and global warming what we have read uh, this this is antarctic this is antarctic okay so we have already read this uh, the gl- glacial ice melt of the antarctic now what is what this uh, global warming is uh, uh, creating effect of the on this uh, arctic region so according to who the arctic ice warmed twice as much as the world average whatever the average of the glo- uh, of the global warming like it is nearly 1.1 degree celsius today so this uh, uh, this arctic is uh, is warming at it at twice the pace of this global average okay this has been said by world meteorological organization this organization is very important you must remember about this its formation its uh, uh, year of formation world world its uh, its uh, headquarters and all you must remember all the things about this organization it will keep on coming uh, every time okay about about this this warming differential between poles and tropics the tropics are heating at 1.1 degree celsius but but the antarctic is uh, this arctic is heating uh, much at much faster faster rate so this difference between these temperatures is called arctic amplification okay other studies some other studies have also been conducted like this is the wmo study other studies that this is warmed by nearly four times faster so wmo is saying that it is warming at twice but some studies have predicted that it is warming at four times faster rate so so and uh, the so global warming is really showing its effect okay now reasons for the for the faster uh, warming of the arctic region what are the reasons like uh, okay ocean covered by the sea ice okay so what is the problem with the arctic that it be have read now this arctic this arctic uh, is covered by sea like anti unlike the uh, 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 antarctic this antarctic has some land over which the ice is there okay this is land but the, in this uh, arctic region all the surface is of sea surface land is very sig- insignificant or very negligible part of the region okay so this sea surface is very and uh, can be can be heated very fast because water uh, absorbs very water circulation is very present in the oceans okay so uh, this is the this is the main region ocean covered by sea sea ice this is the main region for re, uh, for uh, 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 arctic amplification okay okay now the melting of the ice uh, covered in arctic exposes more land water to the sun leading to more absorption of sunlight okay 
because arctic is melting at a very fast rate so land of water is coming in the direct contact with the sun and uh, as we have remember we studied uh, previously that ice ice elevado is very high elevado is very high but water's elevado and land elevado is not that high with respect to, uh, as compared to ice so what happens like that's the sun rays that come on the water that gets gets absorbed on the land or water surface and creates very high temperatures that's that's what the reason for arctic amplification okay the other thing that is remember is the air circulations like these these things on uh, that we have discussed are related to sea or elevator of the sun but air is also uh, forming the part of the ecosystem so so the air air circulation is also leading to this arctic amplification okay i hope you understand the reasons reasons are related to sea sun and air majorly okay now what are the negatives of arctic amplification okay sorry maybe this uh, importance of arctic sea arctic sea ice what are the importance for this arctic arctic sea ice okay the arctic sea as uh, in the antarctic region keep the maintains the earth's energy balance okay keep the air cool okay affect the uh, affect the biodiversity and impact mammals mammals are also uh, form the part of the arctic region okay so these mammals can survive only in the in the temperature range so when this when this arctic will uh, will keep on heating so this temperature will get affected and hence marine mammals will get also affected okay like some people are also there who are traditional hunters and gatherers so this uh, this uh, lifestyle their lifestyle will also get affected so you pick inuits these are the uh, these are the tribal areas tribal people living in this arctic region you must remember these names because this is important for the geography aspect of geography aspect of okay now reduced ice cap can open up sipping lanes but this is the positive only this is a positive uh, thing uh, when this arctic ice will get uh, melt the uh, sipping lanes will keep uh, and increase access to natural resources natural resources uh, natural resources will get we will get access to the natural resources and sipping lanes will give will open so that the distance between the uh, russia and europe will get uh, reduced and hence the, the new new pathways for ship, ships can be opened up okay this was all about on the arctic amplification okay so what we have covered till now we have covered ozone layer in order to make, have a recap okay ozone layer ozone depletion we have covered okay then montreal protocol we have we have covered okay another is arctic amplification and uh, antarctic ice melt okay and uh, related to this is also cryosphere cryosphere melt okay we have done this th these thing till now okay now moving moving to the international conferences like uh, okay uh in order to give it the basic basic is this basic this uh, global warming is happening so there must be an agency there must be some maybe some some energy to control this so the the global uh, global players or global governments have uh, formed un f triple c for dealing with this global warming okay so this body this body deals with the global warming issues okay so this is the part of your statistics levels like uh, when this uh, unf unf triple c was formed and then uh, uh, this uh, this body creates uh, cop the conference of the parties every uh, every every year so this year 
ट्वेंटी एट्थ सी ओ पी डन ऑफ यूनिट इन दुबई ओके नाउ वट वाई आर दिस सी ओ पी इज डन टू रिव्यू द नेशनल डिटरमेंट कंट्रीब्यूशन एन डी सीज सो एन डी सीज आर कंट्रीब्यूशन दैट सम ऑल द ऑल नेशंस ऑल नेशंस विच आर सिग्नेटेड टू यून एफ ट्रिपल सी दे गिव देयर टारगेट्स 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 फॉर वट रिडक्शन ऑफ रिडक्शन ऑफ कार्बन कार्बन डाइऑक्साइड कार्बन डाइऑक्साइड सीओ टू और अदर ग्लोबल वार्मिंग एजेंट्स गैसेस ओके दिस एनुअल कॉन्फ्रेंस टू प्लेस ओके सो टू रिव्यू द नेशनल एन डी सीज दिस कॉन्फ्रेंस वॉज कॉल्ड इन दुबई दिस ईयर ओके फाइनल डॉक्यूमेंट वॉज कॉल्ड लाइक यू ए यू ए कन्वेंसन कंसेंस वॉज एडोप्टेड ओके दिस इज नॉट दैट इंपॉर्टेंट बट ओके दिस 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 नॉलेज दिस फैक्ट इज इंपॉर्टेंट लाइक अजर विजन टू होस्ट सी ओ पी ट्वेंटी नाइन सी ओ पी ट्वेंटी नाइन एंड सी ओ पी थर्टी रेस्पेक्टिवली सी ओ पी ट्वेंटी नाइन विल भी होस्टेड बाई अजर विजन एंड ब्राजील विल होस्ट सी ओ पी थर्टी इन ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी फाइव ओके वट आर द आउटकम्स ऑफ सी ओपी ट्वेंटी एट वॉज कंडक्ट वट एवर द आउटकम्स आउटकम्स विद रिस्पेक्ट टू द क्लाइमेट फाइनेंस क्लाइमेट फाइनेंस लाइक ऑपरेशनलाइज द लॉस एंड डैमेज फंड वट इज वट इज दिस लॉस एंड डैमेज लॉस एंड डैमेज फंड इज लाइक ग्लोबल वार्मिंग इफेक्ट हैज कम इन टू एक्जिस्टेंस ओके ड्यू टू दिस सी लेवल सी लेवल हैज रीजन ओके एंड एक्सट्रीम वेदर हैज कम एक्सट्रीम वेदर हैज मेड life of the many uh, many people many people and in the in the island regions very difficult so what these island nations island nations like maldives or uh, uh, like uh, micronesia island re people they what the people demand these people demand that we should be given compensation for the for the for the global warming that has been uh, that has been started by this uh, due to the development of this developed nations so they demand compensation so this is the uh, loss and damage fund uh, has been formed and operationalized to compensate these these small island nations small island uh, nations small island countries so so other so it so as to compensate them okay now you must remember about this loss and damage fund it has been operationalized but some way, some some day it must have been discussed so it was discussed in warsaw international mechanism wim for loss and damage it was established in 20 2019 in 2013 cop19 in 2013 in warsaw poland okay here in warsaw poland it came into existence okay then then in sarm al sheikh egypt in 2022 the discussion on this uh, on this uh, fund happened it was announced and now in uh, uae this uh, this fund has been operationalized okay okay what are the some uh, some other things uh, for this it is like Board of Intelligence Mechanisms. Okay, it will be administered by World Bank. You have to remember it. Okay, uh, and it will be managed by independent secretary. Secretary will be independent. Secretary will not be World Bank, but World Bank will administer it. Okay, mobilization of. Uh, okay, this was all about loss and damage fund. Okay, now another climate file. Climate finance is mobilization of eighty three point nine billion for climate finance. This all the countries have agreed, agreed that. 83.9 billion will be mobilized for adaptation least developed countries fund green climate fund okay that will be done okay declaration on the global climate finance framework india will be part of this global climate finance framework that has been implemented okay this is the framework framework means a set of rules how this uh, this uh, uh, these climate uh, funds finances will be operationalized and maintained how this all all thing will be done it is in the framework that we discussed okay okay uh, this was all about finance okay how 
what about the uh, focusing on people lives and livelihood what are the uh, things that have happened in this ue so this adopted ue adopted ue declaration of agriculture food and climate okay ue declaration on climate and health and ue declaration on climate relief recovery and peace you have just have to remember some names like some something like uh, something like uh, this uh, agriculture food climate and health and peace recovery has also been discussed about in this in this cop okay then entrepreneur everything full inclusive inclusiveness has also been um, been the area where that has been focused in this cop okay gender responsive just transitions that has been launched okay and climate action partnerships has been launched so you have to remember this name gender responsive tra just transitions what are what is this related to it is related to cop or climate global warming like okay it no uh, upc may give like uh, is it related to wto or something like that but this is related to unf unf triple c okay now what uh, what other inclusiveness gender inclusiveness okay has been done and the youth climate championship to include the youth in the uh, in the fight towards the uh, towards global warming youth climate champion has also been appointed okay what are the reports that has been released reports are like report on the climate finance okay you don't have to remember much about this report but you have to remember two facts these are very general facts like climate finance committed to more than tripled but it is still too low so who gives the climate finance climate fi finance is made majorly given by developed developed nations to developing developing countries okay developing countries so they are not very very effective in giving the climate uh, climate finance to the developing countries okay so th that's what the re this report is saying that is still too low they have given but it is very in meager amount okay climate finance concentrated in the developed economies the climate finance has moved from developed to developing developing in the, uh, this climate finance should be developed equally in the developing countries but it has moved to developing developed economies and china not Uh, okay not all the developing countries okay and another thing is it is it was most in mitigation rather than adaptation okay what is mitigation and what is adaptation you must have read in the, your your static portion but still the mitigation is when the carbon dioxide carbon dioxide is reduced from emitting okay from going into air this is called mitigation okay and adaptation adaptation is like let this carbon dioxide go but we, whatever will the, be the consequences we will we will adapt okay we will adapt so this is called adaptation and i on the methane report and i on the methane report is by really by imeo this uh, organization has come recently in in the existence so this uh, intensive methane emission observatory it is important okay the, it uh, uh, this is under uh, under the un ep okay and this has report, released a report like methane report you have to remember who who has uh, released this methane report by imeo okay rest is very insignificant you may not remember it unf triple c i have okay let us discuss some basics but uh, you may you may have gone through it in the in your static portion also okay you have previously triple c came into existence in 1992 it was a it was a major body body under in the un you want to deal with the climate issues climate change issues okay climate change this is a this is a body which is primarily responsible for climate change and global warming issues so this is the body that deals with it its secretary is von germany okay key agreements under this unfccc is paris agreement that has came into existence in 2015 okay its goal is to keep the average temperature which is below 2 degrees celsius and preferably to 
1.5 degrees Celsius. Kyoto Protocol has also come under this UNFCCC. Kyoto Protocol is to transition to limit and reduce global high um, GHGs emission in the according to the agreement individual target. Thik? Okay. Now on another initiative that has been launched by UNFCCC is Momentum for Change Climate Neutral Now. This question has already been asked in UPSC. Climate neutral now, whose initiative is this? UNF Triple C. Okay. So, what is it? It urges the individuals, companies, and governments to uh, achieve the climate neutrality. Climate neutrality. So, in India, India has also started just for uh, for new information. India has also started life movement, lifestyle for environment. The, the concept is nearly about uh, this this only life life uh, also uh, life in uh, life campaign also makes appeals to, to the people to uh, to live a lifestyle which is climate neutral okay so this is all about unf triple c so this unf triple c releases some report you have to just remember their names okay global stock tier stock take okay sorry Global Stock Tech Technical and Synthesis Report. Who who releases this? That you have to see. You must remember. Okay. Okay. Now, so what are the initiatives that have been has been launched by uh, launched in uh, COP twenty eight? It was Global Green Credit Initiative. You must remember it. It was remember, uh, launched by India. Hence, it becomes very, very important to remember. Okay, Global Green Credit Initiative. Internet. It will be international program for collaboration and exchange of the innovation environmental programs. So, you know, to, uh, this will the pro 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 platform where exchange of ideas and innovation innovative ideas will be done. Okay, this is a pl platform launched by India, and uh, sharing of global technical know-how and experiences will be done in this forum okay you must remember this some of the features that you can uh, you can see for GC, ggci green credit system okay. green credit portal will be launched okay and and uh, green credits focus on the voluntary environmental actions okay so what recently recently nearly five six months or nearly a year back green credit initiative was launched by green credit initiative was launched by india also so what what this initiative is like if a person is plant uh, planting a tree okay planting a tree on the on some land or some here yeah. so he will be given some credit green credit Okay, so later on maybe this this uh, green credit system can be monetized, but it is it, it is not in the monetization state currently. But green credit can be given to that person. So wh whoever does does some work in the environmental domain. Okay, this is the system that uh, have been has been implemented by India on the global scale also now. Global Renewable and uh, Energy Efficiency Pledge. Global Renewable and India is not a signatory to it. Okay, uh, what this uh, what is uh, what this body tries to do? It triple uh, it wants to triple install renewable energy capacity. Okay, double the global energy efficiency. Energy it focuses on energy efficiency, renewable energy, and phase down the unabated coal. Uh, because of this section, India has not joined this. this agreement okay because india can't uh, phase down the coal it is a it is a basic need for india at this time because it wants to grow it wants to become developed so it can't phase down the coal okay otherwise india is very involved in this installation of renewable energy and also green energy efficiency also india is working in this pet scheme that you must have uh, heard in your Static nodes. Okay. Now, another ancient data was known by was global cooling pledge. India is not a signatory again. 
comes 20 to reduce their cooling emissions by at least 68 percent so india can't do it like uh, india do not, uh, can't do it like so at least 68 percent is very high this is just just a just a, a protocol to for by the developed nations to reduce the reduce the growth of the developing countries so india has not joined this global cooling place okay okay these things are not very important according to me and uh, doesn't have very cost benefit analysis cost benefit ratio so we will just leave this okay now next important thing is this l terra fund what this is related to you must you must remember this has been announced by ue what will we what will be done by ue 30 billion climate fund it will be a 30 billion climate fund l terra fund okay you must remember it okay to become the world's largest private investment vehicle to for climate change actions whatever wherever the climate climate project must be uh, is going on okay if the fund ability of fund is less so this altera fund will go and invest in those climate fund climate uh, responsible projects okay so this is the main aim of this altera fund okay you must remember it what were the contributions of india at cop28 india was concerned for the global south india is a leader of the global south you must have read in your ir section and india is actively supporting the global south so it has uh, voices concerned in, in cop28 also okay india's role whatever the role co-launch of the leadership group industry lead lead 2.0 lead 1.0 was launched with india and in between india and sudan at 2020 and 2019 and now lead 2.0 has been launched okay what is the does lead lead is leadership of in industry transition as the name suggests industry whatever the industries are there like industry you know have very high power demand and power comes from coal fossil fuels yeah? okay so we have to transition its it from coal to renewable so this coal based to renewable based sources so this uh, lead 2.0 will focus on that matter only okay now uh, we will move to uh, another segment co-hosted india and ue uh, agreement on green credit program green pro credit program between india and ue you have to only remember between which countries this green credit program has been started okay now india partnered in macro mangrove alliance for climate mac mangrove alliance for okay it was initiated by ue and indonesia india has not started it during cop 27 but now india has also become member later on and uh, it has participated in that conference okay india led global C river cities alliance next is this global cities global river cities alliance okay what was happening that many of the cities just uh, just for the basic many of the cities you must have remember many of the cities are located on the banks of river okay this is the river what cities cities water requirements are uh, usually taken care by this river and then waste is thrown about thrown away in this river after treating okay after treatment the waste is flown back into the river okay so the city's development uh, depends on this the development of river so india launched some some year back some year back this uh, uh, ministry of ministry of jal sakti ministry of jal sakti and uh, ministry of housing and urban affairs launched this uh, river cities alliance in india okay to connect river cities and focus on the sustainable river centric development river centric development okay it started in 2021 okay now what they are doing they are reaching it reaching this uh, thing to the global platform also so this has uh, has been launched by india global river cities alliance okay and uh, who will operationalize this national mission for clean Ganga, nmcg okay uh, now this has uh, 
take in partnership with Mississippi River Towns and Initiative. This is in USA. So India and USA has come out with uh, this program. Okay, so that the river and city can develop according to the time. Okay, now moving ahead. NDC National Determined Contribution. I have already told you some of the contribution. The net uh, NDCs are like uh, how much these are the target based target based mechanism to emit carbon dioxide. Okay, these are the NDCs. So UNFC Secretariat has released NDC Synthesis Report 2023 under Paris Agreement. So uh, this uh, UNF Triple C Secretariat, okay, has released synthesis report. Okay, what are the findings? These are very general findings. Every year, the same findings keep on repeating. Uh, so just re remember this for once, and uh, you will be good to go next year also. The findings will remain same. Okay, world is off track to Paris Agreement. World is off track because because uh, what are the what what are the NDCs? NDCs are uh, are have have been have been uh, misconceptualized to reduce the carbon dioxide uh, carbon dioxide emissions. Okay, so when this carbon dioxide will re re reduce reducing emissions will reduce when the emission will reduce the global warming or uh, global temperatures so that is 1.1 degree currently will reduce. Okay, so that is not happening. This report is saying that this is not happening. Instead of decreasing the emissions, emissions are increasing by approximately 8.8 percent by 2030. Okay, you have to remember this. Okay, now what are the NDCs? I have already discussed. So, in order to go to the basics, it was first conceptualized in Paris Agreement. Okay, Paris Agreement. Then in Glasgow, Glasgow Paris uh, Climate uh, Pact. It was uh, these uh, uh, these NDCs, NDCs were revised, requested parties to revisit, revise and strengthen. Means uh, if if any party has given that we ha we will uh, we will reduce the carbon dioxide emissions by forty percent. Okay, forty percent in our nation. Okay, so what this Glasgow Climate Pact said is just you please increase it. So maybe some country say like 45 percent we will reduce it to 45 percent some country may come like we will reduce it to 50 percent so this this was requested in glasgow conference okay now in their ndc ndc's countries recommended the actions they will take to reduce the green gas greenhouse gas effect and build resilience to adapt so adapt emissions and adaptation both are given in ndc's okay Submitted these NDCs are submitted every five years to the UN Triple C Secretariat, and uh, what this UNF Triple C Secretariat do? So this Secretariat then synthesizes a report, like and then measures like uh, till 2020, uh, 30, 2030, uh, goal of goal of Paris Agreement will be realized or not. So this is all about this report. Okay. Okay, just a passing reference. You must remember this: India's NDCs. India's NDCs were first uh, published in 2015. After this Paris Agreement, okay. Now it has been updated in 2022. Okay. Okay. Before reading this, we will we must come to this infographic. It is very good infographic. So, what were the targeted targets that was given in 2015, and what are the updates to to it? Okay. Target was reduce the emission of intensity of GDP. Emission intensity of GDP will be reduced. So, what was the previous target was 33 percent between 2015 and 2019. But what has happened? What actually we have already achieved this 33 percent. So now we have updated our NDC target to 45 percent by 2030. Okay. Now again, uh, cumulative electric power or maybe non-fuel based power. Okay. It was about 40 percent. We have targeted it, and now 43 percent. We have already achieved 45. So now we have increased our target to 50 percent by 2030. Okay. Create an additional carbon sink. Carbon sink. Our target was 2.5 to 3 billion tons of CO2. Okay. The 
this uh, this has not been updated and i think uh, uh, and i as far as i remember this has not been achieved till now okay so this thing this thing is very important you must remember this infographic is very well okay so whatever we have discussed the same thing is written here so no need to go again and again in this you have to remain, re remember this india's panchamrit concept panchamrit is concept we have uh, our prime minister has given in the glasgow it gives the five woes five woes towards environment by india okay so what are these woes like reach 50 gigawatt non fossil energy capacity by 2030 we will by 2030 our uh, our energy will uh, 50 gigawatt of our energy will be from non fossil fuels okay 50 percent of our energy requirements will be from renewable energy okay the another is reduction of total projected carbon emissions carbon emissions will be by 1 billion tons okay reduction of the carbon intensity carbon intensity by 45 percent that we have discussed uh, below also okay achieving the net zero net zero emissions by 20 70 very important target okay so this is all about india and ndc okay this thing this infography is not very important just you leave it it is not important for pre 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 perspective okay okay guidance of children like uh, this committee un committee on child rights of child has issued some guidance what you have to remember for prelims perspective in this is that this um, this uh, guidance formula is known as general comment general comment number 26 only this you have to remember and uh, one more important fact here is it has again three triple planetary triple planetary crisis what are these climate emergency collapse of the biodiversity and pervasive pollution these all three are called triple planetary crisis so upsc may give like what are, what is triple planetary crisis a b c and d what is not upsc may ask not so it may give three and then fourth option which which will may not be related to it so you have to remember all the three okay so this committee is saying that this triple planetary crisis is also a threat to the children's right okay this much only you have to remember in this article Re leave the rest okay other initiatives other initiative that we talk about like global greenhouse gas watch and world material wmo releases this so in this watch and reports you just have to remember who what are the what is the agency that is launching this okay so wm the world metallurgical organization wmo's world material metallurgical congress it has it has uh, it has launched this initiative what this initiative will be do so greenhouse gases greenhouse gases are being emitted just for a reference these are emitted from the land area okay so how can we track it we can monitor we can put some stations on the land okay and also on this space outside the earth we can put some monitoring satellite okay so what this initiative will do global greenhouse gas watch it will collect all data from this satellite all data from this land based systems and put us make a single repository of data okay so this is the work of global greenhouse gas watch okay so now from this single repository any report or any type of data can be collected and and, uh, and the progress can be can be estimated okay first movers co coalition you have to remember it like world economic forum and us government has launched this okay it was launched at 26 uh, cop 26 it is a public private partnership to clean the most of the carbon intensive sector the sectors which are which are using much of the carbon and emitting carbon dioxide so moving moving these sectors to the renewable energy is the main target okay main target of this first first movers coalition and india is a member you have, you must remember this okay okay major economy forum just just a passing reference you are just you put in the back of mind that is the usa 
it is driven by us and major economies you must you you may be like uh, by common sense you can say that major economies are very very economy which are growing very fast okay they are 80% of the global gdp they are and then global house global emissions are also being done by these these major economies these economies include india also so what us will do us will bring all these global uh, major economies major economies under a forum and it will it will say or it will urge these countries to have a dialogue on climate change and reduce the carbon dioxide global global house gases okay enhancing nature based solution for accelerated tra climate transformation intact partner partnership you just have to remember why it has been launched by unep no sorry it has not been launched by but unep has joined it india is not a part only these two information are sufficient for your answer or if you want to add you can just add germany and egypt has launched this in intact partnership okay other things are very irrelevant and not not very useful okay global reason india is not a part leave it kampala ministerial declaration just you remember it it, it is uh, Formed by African countries, fourteen forty-eight African countries. Has. Okay. okay. What is aims in address the nexus of human mobility and climate change. Humans are mis um, humans are moving and human mobility and climate change. Whatever the nexus is there between them, it want to address this. Okay. So migration is very problematic issue and also the climate change. Climate induced migration also happens. So uh, so if we ta target migration then climate change. If we uh, miss sorry if we target the climate change and reduce the climate change effect then migration will be controlled. So this is the main objective of this Kampala Ministerial Declaration. Okay. And just leave this. Cool coalition. You may you may uh, read this line. Cool coalition. Even if we led led coal coalition is. Uh, release the global clue watch report it has just released a report keep it chill named keep it chill okay hmm okay what is a cool collision who has launched it launched launched by unep okay you just remember all this is only this information foundation okay FAO action plan. FAO action plan has been launched from 2022 to 2025 for implementing the FAO strategy on climate change. So you must have read in your uh, strategy portion, or let me tell you, climate change, climate change have an effect on agriculture. Okay, and this body. Food, food and Agriculture Organization (FAO). So it it wants to reduce the impact of the climate change on agriculture. So this action plan has been launched by FAO to reduce the effect of climate change on agriculture. Okay. And uh, this fact is also important. Global agriculture food system are responsible for about a third of the total greenhouse gas emission. Third, a third of emissions are coming from agriculture sector. Okay. The next thing is climate change part uh, performance index. Uh, India has a further improved its global rank. India, uh, the rank of India is seventh. Last year it was eighth, and it is released by German Watch. Top three places of this uh, list always remain vacant. Okay, only this much information is sufficient. No need to go in depth. What is Nairobi Declaration? Nairobi Declaration is uh, again launched by the first uh, first climate means African countries. Okay, sorry. Okay, moving on. First Africa Climate Summit 2023. Okay, uh, climate funds annual permanent pledge of 100 billion has been done in this Nairobi declaration. Okay, C40. C40 is a collective of 40 cities. Okay. What what these what these cities want? These cities want to be become climate neutral. 
ओके क्लाइमेट न्यूट्रल एज वेल एज क्लाइमेट एडाप्टेड एंड इमिशन रिडक्शन ऑफ इमिशन ओके एडाप्टेशन this this is this is the major major aim of this c40 cities okay now under this c40 bengaluru bengaluru and delhi both from both from india comes under this c40 cities c40 is a global network okay you have to remember it so bengaluru has released climate action plan okay uh, to commitment to the c40 cities okay and uh, delhi city of lakes project and i3 model were discussed in this meeting okay there is i3 model what this uh, have this uh, this uh, this deals about this electric vehicles and focuses on the inclusion incentivization innovation in the electric vehicle space okay moving ahead this much only you have to remember it okay now we discussed that today we will stop at this point okay just whatever your doubts will be there you just post in the comment section we will try to address them okay and uh, we will meet you with in the next session with uh, 20 to 30 30 pages will be our next target okay okay keep studying for your pre don't get uh, diverted with the with the announcement of the postman of the pre okay okay student bye